be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. You know I always say where there's smoke, there's fire. And there are all sorts of smoke signals and flames shooting up from Flex Lewis's direction right now. A few days ago, there was a training clip of Flex floating around that caught my attention when I saw it because it was the first time in two or three years that he actually looked like the guy we saw steamroll his way through seven straight Olympia titles. We've been waiting and waiting to see if this jump to the open would ever materialize. And the way it looks now, well, we're going to see Flex Lewis on an Olympia stage again in 2022. So you better buckle up because it seems like this thing is about to kick into high gear. Now we're going to shift gears from one former champ who's looking to get his comeback tour started next year to another former champ who's looking to put a stamp on hers by winning back one of her titles. One of the interesting parallels between Oksana and Flex is that they both stepped away at the peak of their powers and now they're both coming back after a short layoff and still trying to figure out if they can reach the peak level of greatness once again. I know that bodybuilding is a unique animal but to be honest this isn't something we see a whole lot in sports. The great athlete doesn't usually step away at the top, go off to do something else, then come back and pick right back up where they left off. It's just a hard thing to do, which doesn't mean they can't, but it does mean that the road to get back to there might be a lot longer than they remember. And that's not an easy thing to overcome. I know yesterday was International Chess Day, but I'm going to need you to pretend like it's Monday because, well, this chess training clip of Hunter Labrada was just too good not to share. According to Hunter, he's finally starting to get to the point where things are coming together with his training, and with a few more tweaks, he feels like he'll be able to start pushing harder into the next phase of his offseason. Say what you want about Hunter, but this one thing you can't say is that he doesn't take a cerebral approach to his craft, because this guy understands every detail about what's going on with his plan and his body. And if he keeps doing what he's done for the last two years, the 2022 version of Hunter might come in ready to contend for a top three Olympia spot. I've got three words for you. Official Nick Walker. Last week, Nick's camp released his first official offseason check-in pictures. And one of the things that jumps out immediately is how much leaner he is right now compared to where he was last year. Now, granted, he is still less than two months removed from the end of his contest season, so I'm sure there's still some residual leanness going on there. But there's no denying that this version looks a lot different than what we saw heading into this year. Nick's Ori on the record is saying that he doesn't plan to step on stage again until the Olympia next year, and we're still a long way away from that. But it's still one hell of a starting point. Am I right? <laughs> And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.